really on the plug, really on the plug. What's up guys? Just here to tell you about my first experience with the infamous Shoe Palace. Uh, you can see here I got the Kobe 10 Elite Low Christmases that came out on December 26th. Kobe didn't rock these in the Christmas game, but I still found it was a pretty good looking shoe. And I bought these on Shoe Palace. I'm not going to really talk about the shoe much, but what I will talk about is my first experience with Shoe Palace, and it was not a good one. Um, I bought these on December 26th. They dropped online. That's pretty much how I buy all my sneakers are online. But uh, yeah, I went on their website and copped. I figured I could save a little bit of my money because there's no shoe palaces in Michigan, so you could save on taxes, and they were offering free shipping, so that saved me a few dollars. I'm always down to save a little bit of money, but um, so I bought these shoes, and about a week passed. It was December 26th, so there was a holiday and whatnot, so I figured I'd give them the benefit of the doubt because I didn't hear anything back about shipping confirmation. I did get a receipt. Uh, an online receipt in an email saying that my purchase was confirmed and they would email me when they shipped my shoes. So I let a week pass and I didn't hear anything. I think it turned out to be like January 3rd when I finally emailed them to find out where my shoes were or if they were going to ship them or that they got, you know get out of stock and they are waiting for them to come back. I don't, I don't know. But I figured that was long enough to wait before I emailed them to find out where my shoes were. So I did so. Didn't get a reply for two days. Being the holiday season that you would, it would take a little bit longer for them to email you back. But I didn't get any email back for about, well, I didn't get an email back at all. Two days passed. I finally looked up their customer service number and... I called that and it went to voicemail, which is weird for any type of retailer to have a voicemail <laughs> like that. So I called back again. And I know they have like their own business hours and whatnot when they're there. And I called during those hours and I called back to back. I mean, sometimes the phone number would kick me off before I even get to the prompt of what I was calling about or the voicemail. And this happened for maybe two or three days. I'm calling, calling, calling. And finally it gets to maybe January 10th. And I still haven't heard anything. So I finally go on their Facebook page. And I'm looking at the reviews. And it seems like everyone is having the same problem. Everyone's saying that no one's, they're not hearing back from the customer service. I've even, t people are said they tweeted them and they're still not getting responses. And some people who tweeted, they told them that to call the same number that no one's answering. So I finally say, well, I'm not about to get, feel like I'm, I feel like I'm getting ripped off. So I'm not about to just sit here and let $200 and $220. I'm not just going to let $220 just go in the hands of anybody. So. I file a PayPal dispute and you know how that goes that takes about seven to ten days for them to even you know uh, escalate it to a claim if, before they're trying to find out if the retailer will respond for my luck they don't respond at all and PayPal refunds my money now I do call on the 10th day I call PayPal on the 10th day to find out if they have said anything or sent an email and PayPal said no. And then just to happen just that day before and they uh, send me a confirmation that my shoes shipped when I've already gotten a refund from PayPal. So I call them up, I call PayPal up and they tell me well they can possibly have just sent a shipping number and not have actually sent what I bought. So they said, let it stand. You get the shoes, you get the shoes, whatever. If Shoe Palace doesn't want to respond, then basically I just got a free pair of shoes. So which, yeah, I just got these for free. Um, I have to say Shoe Palace has one of the worst customer services of a retailer 
that I've ever seen. If you have a phone number for people to call and you don't answer it, what's the point? You don't you have an email and you don't respond to and the people on Twitter don't have any type of ability to research your order or look it up to find out where it is or anything like that. If I were you guys, I would just shop in the stores. They don't have them out here in Michigan. So I don't have the ability to just go to a shoe valves and buy there or even have the ability to go into the store and ask them if they didn't have any information on my order. But I will not be buying from them again unless it's completely my last resort and a shoe I really, really want and have no ability to get anywhere else. So just buyers beware. That's my first experience with Shoe Palace. It was not a good one at all. And I'm going to avoid them at all costs. So you guys let me know if this was a good cop. If you buy from Shoe Palace and how your experience was, if you've never had a problem with buying online from Shoe Palace and they send your stuff in a timely manner. Um, but like I said, I'm going to probably not buy anything from them again if, as long as I have the ability to get my shoes from somewhere else. That was my first time buying from them. And like I said, I was just trying to save a couple dollars with taxes and uh, shipping. But uh, go ahead, hit that subscribe, hit that thumbs up, hit the comments below and let me know how you feel about Shoe Palace and how your experience was with them.